Okay, everyone, this is Rick James. Today I'm going to offer you guys a few steps that should increase your performance and also limit lagging and, and you know, battle connection issues. Um, all right, so one of the first steps here we're going to do is you want to go into your settings now I'm using Chrome here this is what I recommend this is what kicks I recommends you're gonna click advanced and then go down to change proxy settings you wanna click the security tab go to sites I'm sorry go to trusted sites and then you wanna click the sites button now in that ad box we're gonna go ahead and type 64.74 dot one three zero dot two zero zero hyphen six four dot seven four dot one three zero dot two two three and we're gonna go ahead and click add now we're also gonna add the second one down here which again I'm gonna post on the screen but it's six four dot seven four dot one three zero dot four three hyphen six four dot seven four dot one three zero dot four five we're gonna go ahead and close that box out once we have both of those added click apply and then click OK okay now the next step we're gonna do is with your firewall so we wanna go into our Windows firewall settings um, you can go down to your start menu and in that search box you can just type firewall should be two options the windows firewall with advanced security or just windows firewall we're going to select the windows firewall with advanced security um, and this is going to be an inbound rule so we want to right click inbound rule and click add rule this is going to be a port that we're opening click next um, it's a TCP port Now, the ports that Kixi uses, I'm going to go ahead and post on the screen as well, but it's 80, 80, 80, 8,000, 50,000, 53, 443, and 843. Um, so now when you're entering these, you want to add like 80 for instance and then you're gonna put a comma space 80 80 and you wanna do that for all of them so the next one comma space make sure you comma space between each port as you can see here I'm showing you I already have all these ports opened up in my firewall so this is to make sure our firewall is not blocking any of the Kixi connectivity any of the ports that Kixi is using I'm going to go back in here just to show you how uh, the rest, which is um, pretty pretty straightforward, but the rest after you add the ports. So I'm just going to put a default number here, click Next. But we want to allow the connection, so we're telling the firewall to allow these ports. Click Next. Um, you can leave all these checked. If, if you don't play on a public network, you might want to uncheck public just so those ports are not open if for whatever reason you have your laptop connected to a public network. Again, if you do play on a public network, leave that checked. And let's click next. Name, you can name it whatever you want. I name my kicks eye. Um, description is completely optional. I leave it blank and then let's click finish. I'm not going to click finish because I already have that added. Okay, so one more step we're going to do here. Um, is we're going to make sure that two versions of Flash Player are not running because a lot of people install Adobe Flash and they also have the default pl Adobe Flash Player which is automatically installed in Chrome so we want to disable one of them so in the address bar we're going to go ahead and type Chrome colon and it should pop up the full address I'll post but it's Chrome colon backslash backslash plugins now, as you can see, I already have mine disabled. Um, that's why it's grayed out and has the option to enable. And the one that you want to disable, see here, is the Pepper Flash. 
the pep the other one works better. The pepper flash is the one that comes default with Chrome. So we want to disable that one. If you only have one here, don't disable it. That is a possibility. So then just go ahead and leave it enabled. But if you have two there, disable one. Okay, so one thing that I did forget to show, because mine, I already had the details expanded, but when you're in this plugin section, see here, you have Adobe Flash and it says two files. Some of you, you may only have one file if that's the case. You don't need to worry about this step. If it just says two files like this, uh, um, what you need to do is click this details tab up here in the top right to expand it out. Now you'll see both of them and you can disable only one of them. One other thing that I did is disable the autoplay of videos on Facebook and this is pretty easy. So we can just come up here, go to settings and then we want to click videos down at the bottom here. And this autoplay video is by default is set to on. So we want to turn that to off. That's pretty much it. You're all set. You can click home. Okay, now that the last step that I'm going to show you today is with your flash player, how to change your flash player settings. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open Battle Pirates. Let Battle Pirates load up. And then you're going to want to right click anywhere on the screen and click settings. Um, now this is an issue I had for a while is I had that checked enable hardware acceleration. Make sure that's unchecked because that was giving me a lot of problems. Um, and then we want to go here to the local storage. And as you can see, you can see the address for, you know, Battle Pirates and Kixi. So when we increase, we want to increase the storage to unlimited and we're only doing that for this specific application. Now this will work with any Kixi applications just... You know, for instance, with War Commander, you would want to open War Commander and then perform this step. So increase that to unlimited, click close, we're all done.